An annual walk is raising money and awareness for domestic violence in our community. As statistics show, domestic violence numbers have increased since COVID-19 started. Kaylee Kirby has more on how one local family is continuing to share their story as well as help others. Domestic violence is real. My mom lost her life because of it. August 25th, 2007. Tammy Bolin McRae was killed by her boyfriend. Her family says it was a terrible tragedy and it's something that affects many others. Domestic violence comes in all forms, you know, whether it's physical or verbal, it's there and it has to be talked about and brought to the front. Each year the walk is held, not only for Tammy's family and friends to remember and honor her, but to bring more awareness to domestic violence. There's a lot of domestic violence around that people aren't so much aware of or like to talk about, so it's good to get people together and remember that there's tons of resources in Toledo. There's a ton of people that can be there for you or you can call to talk to. Those attending say this walk is also a chance for them to reflect on others who have lost their life to domestic violence. My friend Tina, she worked at the police department with 911 and she was killed by her husband in domestic violence. So we walk in memory of her. We've done it every year. This is our sixth year. Tammy's family says she wasn't able to get the resources she needed, but it's not too late for others. Don't wait till the last minute and stay in a relationship where things are violent or, and it's not just physical, you know, you got mental abuse, you got verbal abuse, things like that. There's a lot of red flags that show up before a situation like this arises. Organizers say all proceeds from the walk will go to Advocates for Victims and Justice in downtown Toledo. Reporting in Toledo, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.